everybody, Marsha Holland here, Glam Memo. I'm a little early today, uh, so I thought I would just be able to take my time. We'd do from A to Z, and we'll see how it goes. I am going to start with my skincare. I am all about skincare because without skincare, proper skincare, you're wasting your time. Yeah. Oops. Here we go. This is an eye cream that I'm using right under here. Uh, something that's really, you know, gotten worse for me in the last year. Um, to be expected, I suppose. But doesn't mean I have to like it. Yeah. Uh, anyways, eye and lip. And I used to be, you know, I used to think, you don't need a special eye cream. You know, anything will do. I was wrong. The moisturizers that you use are excellent and certainly better than nothing. But... They have bigger molecules. So if you're having issues with your eyes, you need to concentrate on getting you a good eye eye and lip concentrate. Because when you get older, your lips will develop these little uh, wrinkles and lines and stuff. Always worse if you're a smoker. Um, I always start with a very clean face. I scrub my face in the shower with a very mild exfoliating sponge called a, a Conjac sponge. And then I use my cellar lotion to clean it because my cellar gets below the surface and pulls out all those nasty impurities. So that's why I use that. And then moisturizers, I have several different kinds. Each one does its own little thing. Uh, this is one of my favorites called Mesoderm. It's like, it's like vitamins for your skin. Yeah, if you went to the doctor and you got injections for heaven's sake in your skin it would all the stuff that's in this stuff would be in that injection only no shots yeah and no pain no pain this is just a moisturizer now i use quite a bit of moisturizers especially when the air gets to the point where it dries your skin out right you want to make sure you double dose that uh another product this is a brand new product for me this is called Mystified. It's a Gerard Cosmetics, and it's like a, a spray moisturizer. So I use both. <laughs> you may not have to use both, but I do. Um, yeah. And normally, uh, if I was doing this without showing you, I would wait a little bit and let all this dry and soak in before I put the next product on. But since we're not doing that, I'll show you. Smells heavenly. Just kind of rub it in a little bit. I put this on before I do the primer. Boy, mm -mm -mm. talk about hydrated, man. My skin says, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Keep your skin hydrated. Keep your body hydrated. Sometimes I don't think I drink enough water. Seems like I drink all the time, though. Okay, here's a primer. I want to make sure you're using a good primer, of course. Nothing tested on animals, please. Primers are good to help your foundation not to move around, slide off or whatever. Keeps it from getting so deep into those pores and fine lines and wrinkles. So, my skin is really moist right now. In fact, I'm going to put you on hold and let this dry a little bit because, whoo wee it feels good. I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. Now, I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use my new e.l.f. Uh, palette I got the other day. It uh, has everything you need. Yeah. Um, and it's I, I did notice finally that it's not tested on animals, so I feel a whole lot better. Today, I'm not going to use any foundation. I'm just going to use color correcting stuff and concealers, and uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do here. There is a... Um, color in here in this it's bronzers and uh, blush couldn't think of that <laughs> bronzers and blush but one of them is orange so you know when I do color correcting I do this right here so before I do the it's powder so before I do the powder I'm going to use this pale peach right here and let's see like that and then I'm going to do the Ugh. Can't hang on. 
<laughs> this is a Maybelline Dark Circle Corrector. I just use it right up under my eye. A little bit below. Kind of blend that in a little. I'm not going to blend it so much as I am going to tap it. I'm going to use a lot here, which is probably a no-no to a lot of people, but we're going to see how it works, okay? I always do my foundation and stuff first before I do the eyes. Just have it. No real reason other than just have it. So we've done it all my makeup life. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to try to use, all right, I'm going to try to use a little bit of this orange in here in this palette. Never used it before, so I may not like it. And I could probably get by without the other stuff, but you know, I like to play. So this is stuff that's just happened to me in the last year. I guess I'm pretty lucky being 71, uh, I have seen some really bad ones on people before, so I'm considering myself pretty lucky there. So let's tap that in a little, and then we'll put some concealer over it, because like I said, I'm not going to use foundation today. Well, I guess that works pretty good. Okay, I could use really get heavy here and use this it cosmetics yeah i need to use it up this is also a color correcting um concealer by it cosmetics and then let's just see how it works not sure how it's gonna work and you're saying what you're gonna just look terrible i could <laughs> You're right, I could. But you see, I want to go poof and everything go back to where it was when I was 18. Who doesn't, huh? Okay, let me blend it a little. Tap and tap and tap. And on my eyes, color correcting for my eyes, I'm going to use my Lancome product. Just because I have it and I gotta use it. And it was $26. Yeah, I'm gonna use this as my eye primer. It's actually some kind of eye base. I got it at Ulta and I told them what I wanted. So this is where they took me. Using my finger. Your finger will warm up the, the product and make it really easy to glide on. This is easy to glide on anyway, though. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, I don't know if I told you what. Let's see. I did the eye and lip. Then I did hyaluronic. I think I forgot to tell you about the hyaluronic. Yeah, hyaluronic. Super important to do hyaluronic. We start to lose our collagen and our hyaluronic as we age. Actually... From about age 25 so if you're over 25 you're probably losing yours too so you need to get some okay now i'm going to do something i probably shouldn't do that i think i need to do but i don't know this stuff kind of smells funny this is uh, a nyx powder it's this stuff right here but you know it's one of those things where you put it right here I hope and pray that there's nothing wrong with this stuff. Because it does smell kind of funny. I can't imagine it. And it's messy. Just a second. <coughs> Alright, we'll just let that sit for a second. And I'm going to just kind of brush my brows while I'm waiting for that to sit. Usually you'd let it sit for longer. Today I'm going to use my Winge, my Winge uh, Brow Wax from Acti Labs. 
All my skincare is from Acti Labs. I use other products, like, you know, a lot of eye products. Uh, you know, this powder and stuff. Every once in a while. I like to try new things. It's good. I do have a web shop for my Acti, though, which is absolutely an awesome, awesome stuff. Okay. Now, just going to use some powder here. This is just a translucent powder finishing type powder and it's just flesh color medium and just gonna go over no foundation today okay good enough for me And I have a color correcting powder that I love to use. So we're going to use a little bit of that too. I know what you're saying. You're not supposed to use that much powder when you get old. So they say. True. But if you, if you apply it properly, it's okay. It's okay. This I like to use because it gives you a little bit of a glow. You can see. Still smell my nicks. <sighs> All right. Now you hang on a second. I'll be right back. Okay. I need to blow my nose. I'm so glad you came to see me today. I hope you're here. All right. So I've already done the primer, which was the Lancome. So now we're going to use this elf palette with a little bit of bronzer con concealer type thing let me get my special brush um here you go nope here you go i like this brush for that i'm going to use one of these uh the darker bronzer down here i think to try to camouflage my bags right here we'll see if you can tell a difference we're just going to go along above the bag, all the way across the jaw, and then go under a little bit. Want to create an illusion, like, like a shadow, where you don't see it quite so bad. I have square jaws too, so I like to go all the way over to the jaw. You know, Mother Nature can be kind of rude sometimes, you know, when everything wants to fall south. I don't know why she has to do that. Let's be sure we blend it though. No sharp lines. No sharp lines. Just a shadow. That's pretty good. I'm not going to do the rest of it. Because I was going to be simple today. See, I wasn't even really going to do that. Okay, so now let's do some uh, blush and highlighter. I'll do my highlighter first, and I'm going to use my Gerard Cosmetics. Little Starlet palette. It's beautiful. Beautimous. And yeah, let's give some glow. It's just enough glow, you know? Look at there. Just enough glow. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm going to use my Coral Dune. Blush, staying up high. Oh, is everybody ready for Christmas? Oh, my stars, can you believe it's just around the corner? And then you know what that means? That means income tax time. Oh, yeah. Ugh. 
we will blend because that's too much see but I like always put too much on on purpose and then I can blend it out just have a special stipple brush that I use for that just don't want any harsh lines just like that okay so now we're ready for the eyes and let's do some brow action here using my winge brow wax this is waterproof smudge proof works good for uh, eyeliner also so we're just gonna do the brows real quick starting at the top following my natural brow, brow. underneath this is very pigmented so I have to be careful hard to talk when you're doing your brows I'm barely touching And we're going to use the spoolie to smooth out the product. You can carve your brows. If you know what carving is, you'd put a lot of concealer or foundation or whatever you want to use all around your brow. And it seems to make the brow a little sharper. But again, I'm not going to do that today. There's so many tricks that you can do with makeup and stuff. So much fun you can have. So, I think today I'm going to use um, hang on. I'm going to use my e.l.f. palette. It's got some pretty shadows in there and I'm thinking, you know, about going browns and I don't know, maybe a little gold or yellow or whatever. Just like so. Can't ever get them alike. Just like that. I think that's about all I'm going to do. Not quite alike though, are they? Might have one darker than the other. Always have your Q-tips handy. One a little darker? Maybe. Let's see. I won't put any more product. Let's just see. I said before, they're not alike. I think we all have one that's harder to do. Yeah. We do. I hear people saying it all the time. using the product on my brush there's the brows there's the brows that's all I'm gonna do now for the fun part <sighs> look at this palette is that pretty or is that pretty it is pretty trust me it is pretty Okay, let's get us, let's see, all my good brushes are wet. I'm really bad about doing that. Waiting so late to clean my brushes. But I've got so many brushes. First thing is going to be a base coat. So we're going to use just a, uh, I think I'll use this pretty beige color here as a base coat. Just going to go all over. I 
just all over, just like that. Hang on, I don't want to get in trouble. Even though I'm paying for this, <sighs> don't want to get in trouble playing music. Okay, base coat on. Looks pretty nice. Just a base coat, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna put a little bit on the bone here. Don't see a good brown, so let's, let's look in this other palette, I got it. This is a Profusion. These are all shimmers. Love me some shimmers. And yes, I like shimmers on my bone, but there's no dark brown in here either. So, so much for that. How about this palette? Ah, here we go. Take me away, Majestic Galaxy. Got some gorgeous browns in here. So, I have my pick here. So, we'll start kind of light just to get that guideline going. I'm gonna use the same brush. Just go all the way in, like just like a, a half circle. That's what I'm doing to start with. I will bring it on over the, the brow in a minute. Oops. Stay in the camera. You stay tuned. I just might possibly wear some glitter. Who knows? Stay tuned. All the way over. Just kind of like a half circle. We'll do some blending here. Blending's the real secret. It's, it's the secret. Uh, I'm going to use the same brush again. I'm going to try something here. That is just kind of a yellow. Okay, that's a start. That is a start. Getting a clean brush now and going to just do little circular motions. We're gonna darken it up with a dimension color here in a second. Let's get our dimension color going. I'm going to use a dark brown for that. The darkest. up on the bone inside there on the on the crease but not going all the way across now this is where I'm going to come up on my bone more and go towards the end of my brow and make that huge triangle V whatever you want to call it there just 
start on the outer edge come up on the inside there on the crease and then come up on the bone towards the brow Never fear, it'll look okay in a minute. <laughs> it's always scary in the in the beginning. Okay, now to decide what I want to put on the lid. <sighs> Let me get me a small brush because I'm gonna go underneath. Get my small brush here. Okay, hang on, I gotta look for that small brush. Hang on. That probably will do. So we're gonna bring that brown underneath. Underneath. And I'm going to make sure I don't have a gap right here. So I'm coming up a little high. All the way over, but not so thick on the inside. Okay. Oh, you hear my cat? Rotten spoil. Like so. <laughs> Yes. Now I'm trying to decide what color I want to use. Hang on a second. Okay, sorry. Didn't think you'd want to watch me blow my nose. What is everybody up to today, anyway? I think I'll use that right there. It's a yellow. But I think I'm going to end up using some of my Stila glitter. And I'm just going to start about three-fourths of the way over. This is a damp brush that I'm using right here. If you didn't know, if you use a damp brush, it gives you a more bold color. So actually you get like two colors with one shadow. About three fourths of the way over and I'm just gonna tap that. That's pretty. We'll smooth it. Being very careful up here on the crease. Tap, tap, tap. You know, thinking about Christmas. I say every year, you know what? I'm going to get all my Christmas done in October. I've never done that. I want to do that. Let's put a little bit of that under here. A little bit. Get a little smudgy here. Don't want to get it in your eyes. It'd be so easy working in this tear duct area to get it in your eyes. Okay, so let's blend a little bit now. Actually, what I'm going to do is just tap it right here. Just kind of blend those two colors in together. Just ever so lightly. All right. 
Looking good so far. There's something about that color combination. I really do like that color combination. Let me tell you another little something that's handy. Get you one of these little scrubber thingies for your brushes. Like, you know, it gets the surface off. It doesn't clean them, but it gets that surface off where you can reuse it for another color. Yeah. Going to emphasize that arch right there. Kind of softly blend that in. I've been off for two days and you know, I didn't get anything done. I didn't get anything done. I had another one of those crash and burn times where I just couldn't seem to get up out of my pajamas. And I keep telling myself, okay, I'm going to check this, check that, and then I'll get up and get cleaned up. It never happened. Now I don't have a choice because I work tonight, <laughs> so I have to. That's the thing about, you know, retiring that I think about. People tell me all the time, if you ever retire, you better have something to do. Do not just sit around. It would be so easy to just sit. <sighs> yes. And then, on top of that, you are just stiff as a board when you do get up, you know? Need to keep moving. I'm thinking about getting a recumbent bike. My husband needs to be doing something, too, to help with his uh, Parkinson's. Okay, so now I think we're ready for... Let me look. Should I? Do you think I should? I think I should. Let's do a little bit of Stila. Let me see which color this is. I can't remember. I have to look. This is Smoldering Satin. Smoldering Satin. So we're going to smolder a little. Let's just smolder a little. I don't know where I want to put it. Let's just put it right here right below the crease this is a wet product so it does need to dry just a little bit of shimmer i love shimmer And I'm tapping this instead of uh, rubbing, uh, swishing it because I told you it's wet and it would take off some of my dry stuff. We don't want to do that. That's pretty simple. Don't you think that's simple? Simple for me. So, now we're going to do some eyeliner. And I'm going to use, look at this. Do you think I don't need to get another one? I hope I can use that. Let's see. My eyes are watering all the time. Today, like I said, I was going to try to be simple today. I'm going to use my wispy lashes today. Nothing glammy. Tight lining right there. That helps when you use lashes. It helps conceal the uh, little flesh tones that might peek through. Yeah. So... Okay. Boy, 
I gotta get another one of these. Alrighty, now let's do the eyeliner. Gonna use the Kiss Gel. Kiss Gel. Works good for me. Something in my eye besides my eyeball. And I'm just going to touch it to start with. Little bitty short strokes. Because I almost always mess up. Eyes are wider in. Look at that. Mm. Underneath, about halfway. You know, you can actually use an eyeliner and smudge it out. And uh, it can actually turn out to be like a smoky eye. Just using eyeliners. I never would have thought about that. I saw it. Guess where? YouTube. Bet you wouldn't have guessed that, huh? If anybody has any questions about what I'm doing, just put them in comments. I will get back to you. As soon as I see them, I should say. I'm having trouble with my seeing my comments. Some of them are like 11 hours, 13 hours before I see it. I think it's important to respond. Rude not to respond. You know, with at least a heart or something to know that, you, let that person know that you actually saw their comment. They took the time to comment. Smudgy, smudgy. Also use Q-tips to smudge. I like that smudgy look. It covers up mistakes. <laughs> you knew there was a reason. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put the glue on my lashes, and then I'll be back in a minute as soon as it's had time to get tacky. I'll be back. Okay, got my glue on, so let's do a little mascara. This is my Lash Growing Mascara I just got in. So we're just going to put a small coat of that on there just to give those false eyelashes a little stability. Just like that. Glue is getting tacky. Kind of wondering if I put enough glue on. You know, they always say it doesn't take much, but I don't know. I struggle with that sometimes. Always make a mess. Wow. 
like that. All right, now my glue should be tacky enough. I want to make sure you're, if you use a tool that it's clean because it will grab your lash back. <laughs> here we go. I use the eyeliner as my landing pad here, and then I put my tool right in the middle of the lash, go in for the landing, and kind of turn my wrist up a little. Press down on the, in, on the outer edges. And then on the inner, just like that. And then I go along and tap it. Give it that little extra. And then you can always go in after the glue dries, touch up your eyeliner. Sometimes you have to do that. Here we go. Be a miracle if I have to go back and fix more glue. This glue dries clear. I thought about getting some of the black glue. I've never tried black glue before. So when that dries, I will touch up. Let's do some lips. Oh wait, I gotta do the finishing. Should have done that before I did the lashes. Ooh, this stuff smells good. Coconut. Now let's do the lips. I wanna make sure you got good clean lips. And I don't think, uh, like I said, I'm gonna stay simple, so I don't think I'm gonna do lip liner. I'm thinking about using the color Vegas. Let me find you. Vegas. This is a metal matte. It's lovely. Oh. <laughs> Beautimus. Very creamy, as you can see, and it will dry to a mat. And then sometimes I feel like, you know, maybe I need a little bit of lip gloss on there, but Whew. how about that? I think I'm done. So if anybody has any questions, be sure and comment. It's my look today. Kind of simple, sort of. My lips are glowing. Glam Mama. Look me up on YouTube. And this is Marsha Holland. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye.